Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're taking a look at the Micro Galaxy Razor Crest. Yeah, so um, it comes with Dinjarin, Grief Karga, and Grogu. So let's have a look at those first, because obviously they're tiny and they're meant to be just the accessories. Let me get you right up there. Get right in there, boys. Um, yeah, so here they are. Um, Grogu first comes with. Oh, he's dead. Spoilers. Um, yeah, it comes with. Is he? Oh, okay, look at that! My focus actually worked for it, but, um, yeah. Little Grogu comes with a little flying chair, nicely detailed in there. You know, it looks fine, comes with a little pram, a little flowy bit, no articulation in it, so there's that. Next we've got, oh, I forget his name, G Grief, 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 Grief. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, so, nicely articulated again, you know, got the, the same as all the rest, he's got foldable joints, they lift up, they lift down, he's got a little Grey moustache, you know, you can tell who it is. Not a character I'm super duper bothered about. I, I'll be honest, if of all the people to have in this, I'd probably prefer like the heavy Mando or something. But, you know, he didn't technically go in it, so I guess it makes sense. And then you've got uh, the Mandalorian, who has just died also. Uh, there we go. So he's nice, he's nice and shiny. If you bought the blind one and was lucky enough to get uh, the Mandalorian, then there they are together. So you can see... It's got his uh, version 1, like version 3, I don't freaking he said like loads of redesigns and somebody will be like, no that's version 2.8.7.5 and I'm like, maybe it's just shiny. Um, difference with these ones, so this one comes with a uh, cape, oh, <laughs> these things are so small, it's very difficult to get them to stand. Um, but yeah, they do stand, that's the main thing. Um, and on this one, for God's sake, you big sloppy bitch, <laughs> uh, it comes with his jetpack. How freaking sick is that? I didn't expect that. I thought they were just gonna, you know, give us the other one with the cape again. But no. I mean, it's mostly, I think, retool, but the jetpack is new. So that's nice. So yeah, there's that. But now the main bit that you guys were probably all here for. This is gonna be a, a bitch to try and <laughs> show off. So let's get you in here first. Wah! Let me, uh, hang on. Hold, please. I'm just gonna get some more light in. Can never have too much lighting. Is that enough? Is that too much now? I don't know. Um, but yeah, so here we are inside the cockpit. It's got three seats back there and a seat at the front. Now mine did come loose, like it was literally wobbling all over the place. It's blue tacked in there now. Um, I'm not sure if it was meant to be glued in place or if they left it out for a certain reason. So I will get to that reason shortly, but um, yeah, control panel, everything like that. Looks nice, the the top of the canopy. I think these are all the correct terms, I could just be making sure. Um, yeah, nice, nice. So yeah, you can uh, put the Mando in the front, obviously, and uh, grief, grief in the back. Um, but there's also this neat feature. So if I take, uh, incredibly out of focus ship, it's a good thing I'm not a film director. Um, so if we take off the child, now he has a little peg at the bottom. You can see where I'm going, don't you? You can pop it. Let me just do this off camera because it's a bit finicky. If you've got little girl hands like me, you're all right. But if you've got big old man chubby hands, you're in trouble. You can do this. Look at that. He sits in there. The only problem is, is it does literally take up both seats. So, you know, it's, um, yeah. You can't really put anybody else in there. I did try with Kreef. Um, let me just... See if I can, where is he? Get over here. I'll show you what I mean. Let me just put this down for a moment. Enjoy out of focus picture. But you, yeah, it doesn't really, like you can kind of shove him in there, but it more looks like he's cradling, <laughs> cradling the jar. And, oh, it still shuts though. So, I mean, you could do that if it bothered you, but there's plenty of space in the back. That is what she said. So you can do that, but getting the child back out again without removing this chair, it's a bit of a nightmare to be honest, because obviously it's small and finicky and it really clips onto that peg really, really well. I managed to get it out, but again, you I don't know if the seat is meant to be removed or not, so there's that. Now, taking you, uh, let's do quickly landing gear, because that will, oh, Jesus Christ, earthquake. Um, yeah, so landing gear is down here, obviously, at the bottom where landing gear should be. Fold these bits away, fold that bit away, fold this bit away, and you're done. 
Da -da! It's quite nicely integrated to be fair, isn't it? Look at that. So, yeah, nice. So let me just fold that back out again. And there you go, it's back to landing. Uh, this side bit here opens. Woof. Again, it will be difficult to show you inside there. Um, let me get you some additional lighting in there again. There we go. Boom, sorry. <laughs> you have to deal with a bit of a phone in your face, but it comes with a little, God's sake, comes with little guns in there. Trying to really hard to get. <laughs> well, that doesn't work, does it? Cover the camera. Um, yeah, you can see. You can see it's got guns. And then there's also some other bits you can take off. So this side panel here is removable. There's a little bit here, so you pop that off. Yeah. And it does have molded detail inside. Like even the you know the just the bits that you take off have got molded detail on them. Obviously, you've got the little little ramp there too. That's nice. Mine looks a bit wonky, actually. Yeah, it'd be fine. Uh, and then you've got a ramp around the back, which you can just open again. Boop. So there's that. And then you've got this top bit, which I'll take off off camera. <laughs> oh, there we go. Um, I'll just show you the detail on the top of this as well, in case I forget. There you go. That's That's the very top, and that's the inside of it. So there's that, very securely put in place. And then here is the internals. So you have this little area here that opens. Bloop. I think, I don't, is that meant to be like a sleeping area do you think? Or a hiding hole? I don't, I don't really know. So yeah, it's there, it's cool. I feel like it's something for sleeping or hiding in. I don't really know. You've got the mesh at the back there. There's this little peg here. Um, which, if you've got the Boba Fett ship, you'll probably know what this is for. Let me just grab the Mandalorian quickly. Jesus Christ! <laughs> this is a big slippery bit. So you can take your very small jetpack and put it in that hole. So let me just do that now. Let me do it off camera again. <laughs> I'm not going to try and fiddle around with it in front of the camera because it just don't work. So there you go. There's that. Nicely in place, so it keeps it safe. And then here you've got the my my the, the guy <laughs> in his uh, little, little words <laughs> in his carbonite. There we go. Um, that is removable. Mine actually was loose. I think you can put it in two different ways. So it's however really you want it. I'll just put it in the other way so you can see. Oh, it's probably meant to go more like that. So it goes like that, and then you can just move it. So it's like that. So yeah, I think that was how it's meant to be. So I apologize. There's no instructions. But yeah, you can just pop this out. I mean, you could class it as a minifigure. We've been playing um, Lego Star Wars recently, and Han Solo and Carbonite is an, a playable character. So, you know, could well be, could well be a character. Hello. Doesn't stand. Does it stand? It's, ro it's rolling up. Oh, I don't know. It doesn't stand. No. Um, it's not quite thick enough. At the back is just hollowness. So you don't get like a surprise minifigure in there or anything. So, But still, a nice piece. Um, I think that's really a about... Oh, no. No, there is also a removable bit, which I think I just snapped off. <laughs> <laughs> so you can take off on this part of the engine. Take that bit off. And it's just, again, moulded detail in there. For something you can't see, you'll probably never see. Um, but yeah, that removes. And then inside there, you've got some more circuitry and engine parts. So there's that. And then if you do, like I said, have the uh, Mandalorian from the blind box, you could put your little, uh, little speeder bike in there. Like that. Look at that. Isn't that neat? It does fit, it does fit. You can, oh, let me just put it in through the top. Yeah. Obviously it's, there's nowhere to clip it in, but it does fit. So if you wanted to store it in there, you could, you could. Real nice. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show this off to be fair, cause it's, it's freaking sick. I was so excited for this. Um, if you're in the UK, this is available on the entertainers website. They've actually got 
most of the stock in. I think the only thing they don't have is the Millennium Falcon, which is ironic because America got that first, so who knows. <laughs> um, also, these guns do not move. They do not move. Well, at least mine don't. You can certainly try it yourself, but I... Nope, they seem way too stiff. They don't seem like they want to move, so I would much rather not risk it. So we'll put this back together. And everything just really clips in nicely. And I'll do a little size comparison alongside uh, another ship. Well, I'll do two ships. I'm feeling generous. <coughs> Am I pushing in a piece of plastic or giving birth? Who knows? So, there we go. Yeah. Good, okay. So, there is the Razor Crest. It is, um, I mean, it stands fine, but if you do give it a little bit too much on the back, it will, it's, it's kind of back heavy, so it will flop a bit on you. But um, let me just do a bit of a side-by-side. -side. We'll see how, I can't zoom any further out, so you're gonna have to yeah. come with me. Look at my table, look at the edge of my table, it is glorious. So there's that one, and then we've got the slave one. Just put them side by side. Uh, which way round should I do? About that. There you go. So the Razor Crest is longer. I will admit that the Slave One is a lot heavier feeling. Um, this one feels like proper high end quality. This one, it feels a bit light. It feels a bit light. So, but this one does have more removable bits. You could argue more detail. So, you know. There's that. Also, this one isn't a freaking nightmare to put the figures in. These bloody mini figures in here. Whoop. They've got clips in. I don't know where you can see it, but they've got little clips in there that you have to slide their legs through. And it's a freaking nightmare to do. Um, but yeah, this one has rotating turrets, but this one does not. So there's that. And then just so we are doing kind of a comparison like they did on... The Mandalorian, I will get this guy. It's obviously not the same character, so don't get too hissy. Um, but there he is with the X-Wing. Obviously there's about, what, 15 quids difference here? Because I think this is 17.99, this is 29.99. Which in the grand scheme of things, it's not terrible. They're so much fun. I've honestly enjoyed this set. I've got another video coming out, maybe in a couple of weeks time, just looking at some more of the ones I picked up. So if you're a fan, ah, just headbutt the light, then uh, keep an eye out for that. But yeah, really nice piece. You know, it's, it's not the heaviest of things, but again, it does a lot that is quite fun. It's quite enjoyable. And obviously there is a second version that's out there. Things like the Arva 7 version or something. It's got a Jawa, that tiny guy, uh, <laughs> the Ugnaut. Um, and another Mandalorian, so, and it's got different decals, but I think the actual whole ship itself is the same. I'd prefer this one. I'm a bit of a sucker for obviously Grogu. I'd much rather have Grogu and the Mandalorian. I could have lived or, you know, I could have gone without grief, but again, these things are technically freebies on top of the ship, so. But there we go, guys. That is everything. That was a bit of a longer video than I was expecting. I apologize. I thought this was just going to be a rapid fire one, but nope, I waffled. As always. But thank you so much for watching, guys. And until next time, I will see you. Well, la la, punch the baby. Oh, you can't see my.